Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, this is a new series in which we will talk about um, how to make a game, a video game from scratch. Now this isn't going to be a 3D game by any means. This is going to be a um, like a 2D retro dungeon game that I'm planning on making. Like um, Realm of the Mad God or a newer one which is going to be similar to, which is, um, Hammer Watch. But the only difference from Hammer Watch is Hammer Watch is made in a language called C Sharp and not Java. So we're going to be talking about it in Java. So we'll just create a new project like normal. And I'm going to name it, uh, um, Revenge. Why not? Revenge and make sure it's Java 1.6 if you want to follow along exactly with what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm in Navigator. So what I so go up to Window, Show View, and click Navigator right here. And that's what I'm going to be using for this a series. Uh, so right click on Source, New, Class. And now what I'm going to do is com. And just type in like the, a normal um, dot revenge. All right, and then I'm just gonna name the class game. All right, so now let me just um, organize here. Um, there we go. Because I do have my uh, little note sheet over there. So what we're going to do is extends uh, canvas, no, no, canvas and implements runable. Now we're going to want to import canvas and there will be an error. Right here. Let me check out the error. Add on implemented methods. Click that. You can delete this. Oh whoop. no 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 no! You can delete the that little note there, and you can delete override. So what we're gonna do is let's just look. Um, so there's uh, typically it's a convention of Java is you need a prov uh, serial version UID. So I'm just gonna type it all out. Private static um, final oh final um, long okay serial version oh my gosh version UID equals one L and then that's good all right so now what we're gonna do is <coughs> All right. Um, so go down and then type in public static um, width. So this is going to be the width of our um, window. It's equal three hundred. Oh, whoops! Static int public static int height equals now we went on to, we want it to be a 16 to 9 ratio so what we're going to do is um width uh divide wait divided by 16 times 9 and then there we go so that's a 16 to 9 ratio and then public static wow static int um and then scale which will equal three all right now what we want to do I, i'm not really tailoring this i mean if you want me to slow it down and actually explain all this like this i don't really think i need to explain but if you want me to explain it more <coughs> um just post in the comments and let me know, alright? Uh, alright, so...
Uh, I will obviously explain more once we get into complicated stuff, but this is pretty basic stuff that we're going through right here. So, private thread. Thread. And, um, alright, so, this, a thread is basically, if I control shift escape to open my task, um, like the where's Java? Where's the Java? Um, well, I don't see any right now. Oh, we're here. Like this. This is a thread. It's just a sub thread that it's basically a sub program. So you don't really need to know that much about threads. Um, frame and import J frame private boolean um running and equal that to f or set that to false now this is going to be our indicator to tell if the game is running which this is going to be very very important now we need to make a constructor public game all right so this is the default constructor so what we're going to do in here is dimension size and set that equal to new dimension um, width times scale and height uh, times scale and that's it I'm just making sure import dimension there we go Okay, um, and then what we do is set preferred size, and then set that to size. And also what I want to do now is frame equals new J frame. There we go. Okay, so what the, um, set preferred size, I think, is in the component class. Yeah, alright, so this is basically setting the size of our game like this is just getting the variables and the integers of what the width and that is but the width and the height are but this is actually putting it into action alright so what we're gonna do here is public synchronized void start um no, I don't really want to get into explaining synchronize that much because it is actually really complicated to explain, I guess. I'm not very good at explaining at it. Wow, I'm not very good at explaining this, but what we're going to do in here is when the game is when the game starts, we're going to set the running boolean to true. So that's how we know if it's running. And um thread or is going to be set equal to new thread and it's going to be this and we can name we can name it so I'm just going to name it let's say just display or something display all right um and then thread dot start there we go and Next, what we're going to do is, I'm just running through this, um, so, oh, so public, and we're going to do synchronized to prevent memory uh, errors and stuff, void stop, memory frequency errors and such. Um, so in stop, we're going to set running equal to false, and now that's literally set. Now we know if the game is running, and I'll show you how to detect that in a minute. So, um, all right. So here we go. What? Should, what? What's next? Okay. So for stop. We have to 
thread dot join and now it's going to have an error hover over it and click the surround with try and catch and then that's fix it and then just you can just delete this um comment there all right so there we go there's and then yeah that's it that's it for the stop and then in run what we're going to do is while just think about this logically actually so while so while the game is running so running while running and we you can also do this if you like running is equal to true that would also work but running is this is the same as that so system dot out dot print line print ln I guess and then let's just do running dot 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 now don't open it yet you may have some um, issues with your computer and such if you open it now so I'm telling you right now do not open it yet we're not done alright we're not done okay so what we're gonna do is public static void main and string array args oh not sting string alright so now what we can do is game game equals new game alright so this is just setting the variable so we can type game like this and it'll just call this constructor every time we do that it will do everything in here so what we can do is game dot frame dot set resizable false we don't well we might change it later but we don't want it resizable now because that causes so many graphical errors oh my gosh okay so game dot frame dot set title and it's a string so just type Phyllis's Phyllis's Revenge. Oh yeah, that's a nice name. Game dot frame dot add game. So there we go. Um, and then game dot frame dot pack. All right, so game, and then oh, whoops. Now what we're gonna do is set the cl default closing operation. So game dot frame dot set default close operation. Then J frame dot exit on close. <clears throat> if you don't do this and you hit the X, it won't exit. It won't. So you need this. Um, game dot frame dot set um, location rel oh, relative to and set that to null alright that will set it right in the middle of the screen um, and then game dot frame dot set visible to true and last game dot start and now well, we can actually start the game um, and it will be nothing, and here, just hit, hit debug, try not to ever, oh, wait, I'll talk about that in a minute, look, it's just a blank canvas right here, and it's just spamming, frame, or running in the console, and if you hit X, it stops, so that means we've done it right, um, so, now let's talk about debug, now, I would not, I'd suggest not hitting run. I would suggest hitting debug because if you hit debug, you can live. Uh, let's say it's still running, and we can go up into here. Uh, where is it running? And let's just change this to um, something else. Hit Control S. Maybe that's not a good example. <laughs> Now she's doing both. <laughs> uh, well, 
you get the idea. You you can live, you can change it live. You can edit live when you use the bug. It will come more into use later on. As of right now, it's not. But there we go. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye bye.